Hello and welcome to Brainy Gardener. Today it is all about how to grow and care for the Crassula ovata plant. Crassula ovata, also known as money plant or lucky plant, is a broadleaf evergreen succulent. Its leaves are thick and fleshy with blunt tips, making them look like fresh cuts. Flowers grow on short stems and clusters at the end of branches. The flowers are small and come in pink and white colors, depending on their variety. The lucky plant is one of the most popular plants for indoor decoration because it stays relatively small and does not need much water or light to thrive in an office or a living room setting. These plants are easy to care for and will make your home feel alive and welcoming. Crassula ovata love bright sunlight and a frost-free environment. They are less drought tolerant, but every once in a while, they appreciate some shade from the scorching afternoon sun. The best location for these plants is near a window that gets plenty of sunlight. When you want to induce bloom, try to keep the plant in a cool location. A few weeks in, you should have your first flowers blooming. Water this plant sparingly. Allow the soil to become completely dry between waterings. Water the plant just enough to moisten the soil. Overwatering will cause the roots to rot. Water it even less in winter, but don't stop altogether. It usually needs temperatures around 6 to 5 to 7 to 5 degrees Fahrenheit all the year. It can tolerate the occasional cold snap depending on the intensity. Anything below 50 degrees Fahrenheit in winter is too much for this plant. However, to encourage flowering, you need to keep this plant in cold locations at around 55 degrees Fahrenheit in late autumn before winter hits. Remember to water during this period. Humidity fluctuations usually have no impact on this plant's health. This robust plant thrives in a wide range of conditions. It can survive with little to no moisture and still produce lush growth. Some people believe that these plants need to be fertilized every two months while others say they are okay with using less often. It all depends on how the plant is growing, but remember not to feed the plant anything during winter. Money plant can be propagated by using stem cuttings and seeds. The most popular method is by stem cuttings. The first step is to take the cutting from a healthy, established parent plant. It requires some gentle twisting and pulling on the stem of the parent plant until it breaks off. It is best to take a cutting between 3 to 6 inches in length. Cutting surfaces should be allowed time for healing before inserting into the soil. This will help speed the rooting of new plants. Next, fill your pot with potting soil, preferably dry. Insert the cutting so that the top is at the soil level. Press the dirt around the cutting and water well. You can also use seeds for propagation, usually sown in spring or summer. But using stem cuttings is an all-around more straightforward process. And it's what most gardeners recommend. When potting a money plant, Use a well-draining soil mix. The best potting mixes are those without moisture-retentive components. This plant usually requires repotting after three to five years, depending on the speed of growth and the size of the pot. If you're growing these plants to take advantage of their bonsai-like properties, it's best to keep the pot size the same when repotting. Prune the stems, leaves, and roots to maintain the same form as before and plant them gently into the new pot. This plant is toxic to horses, dogs, and cats, and mildly toxic to humans. Money plants are susceptible to mealybugs, which can cause them to become deformed and infested. If an infestation occurs, use a mild-strength insecticide or rubbing alcohol. Then, rub on all the leaves and the stems until the pests are gone. 